Megan Rapino, the anti-American lesbian LGBTQIAA2SP plus soccer player, and if you don't get one of those letters, you're a racist bigot, uh, she's decided she's quitting soccer, mainly because I keep making fun of her. I want to show you the ultimate breakdown of Megan that I released just a year ago, and now she doesn't want to play anymore. Mainly she doesn't want to play because a bunch of men are going to start playing soon as women. And she's like, oh, I support that. You only support that because you're leaving. You're no longer going to have to face these men on the field. Also, she was beaten by a group of 13 and 14 year old boys in Dallas, Texas. So when she says she's the best athlete ever and a pro and deserves more money, she deserves less than a group of 14, 15 year old boys from Dallas. These weren't the best 14 year old boys from the United States. She's on the best women of the United States aggregated playing on the same team. This is just a group of boys from Dallas, let alone the best from Colorado, LA, Orange County, Michigan, Florida. They would get demolished. I peg Megan Rapinoe's skill level at around 11 years old when it comes to boys. So don't tell me you're the greatest in the world. Watch me break her down now. I know what you're thinking. Kayvon, why are you dressed like a US women's soccer player? As a person of half Persian, half Scottish color, I thought I would break down Megan Rapinhoe, the female soccer player with a horrible attitude. You know, she went to the White House for the first time and she acted like it was such a big deal. I wanted you to see what she thought about going to the White House just three years ago. Roll the clip. It's not many, I can probably count them on half a hand, uh, moments where I find myself without the words to say. And today I did when I walked into the Oval Office uh, here at the White House. Just, you can't help but pause and take a moment to acknowledge those who have walked these halls before you. Are you excited about um, going to the White House? <laughs> I'm going to the White House. House. <laughs> um, thinking about the civil rights leaders and the champions of equality and the people who never made it into the room, but fought so hard so that others like me would. Uh, no, I'm not going to the White House. That's, okay. We're not gonna be invited. You're not gonna be invited? I doubt it. From the president to the White House, he had said that win or lose, your team would be invited. I can't help but feel inspired and grateful to them and also a deep sense of responsibility. Would you go, would your teammates go? Um, I would not go, and every teammate that I've talked to explicitly about it would not go. I'm not going to the White House. I'm a member of the LGBTQ community with pink hair, and where I come from, I could have only dreamed that I would be standing in the position I am today at the White House. How ironic. She hates Trump, but is saying this speech in front of Biden, the one who voted to keep her from her rights. You're being played. I will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens from the violence and oppression of a hateful foreign ideology. Believe me. Talk about a constitutional amendment to ban gay marriage. You know, think about this. The world's going to Hades in a handbasket, and we're going to debate the next three weeks, I'm told, gay marriage and God only knows what else. I can't believe the American people can't see through this. We already have a law, the Defense of Marriage Act, where we've all voted, not where I voted and others said, look, marriage is between a man and a woman, and states must respect that. The problem with Megan Rapenhouse is not that she is a LGBTQ member, and it's not that she's a woman, it's we don't like her. So I don't know why she throws all these other people into the mix as if they have to now join her pity party. We just don't like you. I'm also a professional athlete. We don't like your little pose you do when all your other teammates want to high five you, but you want to just bask in a weird, I'm a little teapot. You're not fun to look at. It doesn't matter what color your hair is. You look like Howdy Doody. In five, 10 years, you're going to look like Anderson Cooper. And then after that, Johnny Carson. Your vibe is off. Your attitude is off. You're always a victim. Here's what Megan Rapinoe had to say about how great of a soccer player she is compared to men's soccer. And despite those wins, I've been devalued. I've been disrespected. You've and, apologized for yeah. cursing in that, not for the statement Not itself. for the statements, yes. I mean, I meant with all the inflection and all of the sort of attitude that it gave with it, um, I meant all of it and, and every word of it. Um. And dismissed because I am a woman. And I've been told that I don't deserve any more than less because I am a woman. 
Bro, most women around the world don't have the luxury to play sports or even get paid to do it. And you're gonna see in the comments that women don't like her either. So this is not a sexist thing, but I wanna be very clear about the myth of gender discrimination in professional sports. Sports is a merit-based system where the best athletes of humankind get paid the most money. I do the same job as LeBron James when I play basketball at the YMCA with a bunch of hairy Persians. But we don't get paid the same because LeBron James has more fans, more money comes in, and yes, he's very stupid also, but at least I'm humble enough to say, we're dribbling the same ball, but one of these things is not like the other one. You see, despite all the wins, I'm still paid less than men who do the same job that I do. This is American privilege. For each trophy, of which there are many, and for each win, for each tie, and for each time that we play, it's less. Oh, Megan, you silly rabbit. Once men start playing your sport, you're not gonna win trophies, games, ties, or awards. And I know there are millions of people who are marginalized by gender in the world and experience the same thing in their jobs. Hmm, I was told there is no such thing as men and women. Oh, the ever-changing logic of the left. They always eat their own. Maybe America is great for a few people right now, but it's not great for enough Americans in this world. This may seem like I'm coming off harsh to Megan Rapinhoe's, but I don't see her as someone who loves the country. She doesn't love what it stands for. She always is the victim, no matter what. A multi-millionaire victim, we know about those. And I think she's a despicable person. I think all throughout her life, people would be happy to show her love and she's turned it away, pushed it away because of her internal anger. And I feel that leftism is a mental illness. Do you agree? Did I get this completely wrong? Let me know in the comments. And be sure to call anyone who disagrees with you in the comments an anti-LGBTQIA plus T exclamation point because that's how you argue in America. No valid points, just call everyone a phobe. Now normally I do comedy clips. I have 400 more on youtube.com slash comedy. And if you like my message, I'm one of the only comedians in America who has the soccer balls to say it. And if you don't support me, it's because you hate half Persian, half Scottish men with lesbian haircuts. Fold. Don't be a phobe. You have to agree with everything I say and do, otherwise you're phobic. Well, there you go. We just tore up Megan Rapinoe up and down. She will never touch another soccer ball again after this airs. I hope you'll share that video far and wide, make it go viral, and say, hey, Megan, go kick balls in some other country if you don't like it here. We'll be back with a whole lot more of The Right Show right after this. Meanwhile, Megan Rapinoe, she's going to keep making money, keep hating on America, and turn into Karen Kaepernick. That'll be her new name as soon as she quits kicking that little ball around.